Recent 4-2 vote, the Bakersfield City Council approved nearly $8 million for road improvements across town. Some of these projects will help with traffic safety to discourage speeding, among other things, while others are roadway renovations. 17's Jenny Ha visited several proposed sites today and joins us now with more. Jenny. Jim, the city approved five projects so far under those $8 million. Nearly three of the $8 million will be used to protect, protect pedestrians and bicyclists. In locations, officials found those improvements are most needed. Road improvements are nothing new to Bakersfield. City officials say that's true, but they also say they're now focusing on traffic calming. But Bakersfield is historically seen as an area that has a lot of accidents and a lot of deaths uh, for vehicle, pedestrian, and, and bicyclist deaths. Um, we are looking to change that. And one way to change that is through physical infrastructure changes. Archer said he looked through the city's traffic counts, analysis, and accident-related data to confirm certain road improvements were needed. One is at the Beale intersection near Monterey and Nile streets, which focuses on making more room for bikes and pedestrians and slowing down traffic. Steve Silvis has lived in the area for 50 years and said he blames speeding for most accidents. There's a lot of accidents at the corner and, uh, and, and some of those times, uh, they actually come in right through my fence. A pavement rehabilitation on Manor Street and Union Avenue from Columbus Street to the Kern River Bridge is also for road safety. Archer said the city will be updating markings, enhancing crosswalks, and creating safer bike paths. City Council Member Bob Smith has long been pushing for traffic calming and bicyclist safety. 17 News spoke with him on the corner of Stockdale and Allen, where his efforts are now in action, like through those green marks that highlight potential bike and vehicle conflict zones. We need our our streets to be safer. The other projects focus on general road fixtures like sewer rehabilitations. I also want to note 17 News reached out to both the city and Bakersfield Police Department for road accident and death related data, but did not receive them by news time tonight. In studio, Jenny Ho, 17 News. All right, Jenny, thanks.